अब मैं यही की मेजबान को दावत खिताब दूंगा तो इनशाला इंग्लिश और उर्दू में जैसे वो पसंद फरमाएंगे आप सभी हजरा इनको बहुत पसंद करते हैं माशाला मुहब ग्रामी हजरत मौलाना अकील साहब जो बोल्टन से तशरीफ लाए हैं इनका हम इस्तेबाल नारे तकबीर और रिसालत से करते हैं नारे तकबीर नारे रिसालत नारे रिसालत الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألف لام ميم ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه هدى للمتقين صدق الله العظيم محفظ عزيز ولما يكرم وامر كاريقا صلى الله تعالى عليه وسلم كبار ديوان السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته میں جس طریقے سے پڑھا ہوں اس طریقے سے محبت اور عقیدت میں ڈوب کر حضور اکرم صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کے بارگاہ میں حضیر درود و سلام پیش کریں الصلاة والسلام علیہ وسلم اللہ علیہ وسلم الصلاة والسلام علیہ وسلم الصلاة والسلام علیہ وسلم اللہ علیہ وسلم وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله صلى الله تعالى عليك وسلم ما قال صاحب كا شكرية ذكرتهم كي الحمد لله في الإقبال في موقع حزتنا أتاكيا في راجدين في سرزمين فراكر اس سینٹر پر آ کر آپ لوگ کے سامنے کچھ دین کی باتیں پیش کروں اللہ رب العزت ہم سب کی حاضری یہاں پر قبول کرنا ہے اور ہم سب کا نام غلامان شہدہ کربلا کی فہرست میں اللہ رب العزت قبول فرما ہے الحمدللہ this is again from the معاملات from the practices of اہل السنتی والجماع that الحمدللہ wherever Sunnis or people who are from Ahl Sunnah wa Jamaah, they reside anywhere in the world. As soon as the month of Muharram starts, they remember the great sacrifice given by Ahl Bayt, the household, the family of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and especially remembering the sacrifice given by Imam Ali Makam, Imam Hussain Radiallahu Ta'ala. And he's left such a legacy that even today, when we talk about the sacrifice, this revives our iman. Although, if someone was to look at what happened in the battlefield, Imam Ali Makam, Imam Hussein radiallahu ta'ala anhu, and almost all of his male members from the family, except for Imam Zainul Abidin, everyone was martyred. But still, even after losing life, people who have looked at, people who have studied Karbala, they had to say that Tatle Hussain Aslame Marke Yazid hai, Islam zinda hota hai, hat Karbala. He's left such a legacy that every time we read this Waqiyah of Karbala, this incident of Karbala, this revives of an Iman and it makes us strong to uphold Islam which is given to us. To be steadfast on our Iman. Ki Iman ki mazbuti bhi milti hai aur isi ke saath saath Islam par jaan dene ka jazba bhi ek musalman ko milta hai. Topic which is given to, given today alhamdulillah, the preamble or the tamheed has already been mentioned. 
we all know what's happening around the world and it's not something that has been done today remember one thing right from the time of prophet sallallahu ta'ala alaihi wasallam there were two things which attracted people people towards islam one was quran and one was akhlaq subhanallah ye do cheeze thi ki jisse insaan us waqt ke log aur aaj bhi islam se mutasir hokar islam qubool karte the there are many sahaba and one of the name which is on the top of this list is sayyidina umar farooq azam radhiyallahu ta'ala subhanallah subhanallah one of the reason why he accepted islam was the impact of quran that was there on his life quran ki ayatein suni aur unka dil badal gaya aur ye sayyidina umar farooq azam radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu ka hi ehsaan hai जो आज कुरान किताबी शक्ल में हमारे पास मौजूद है उस्मान गनी रजी अल्लाह नो बट दर्सन केम विदेशन ऑफ कंपाइलिंग कुरान वॉज सईदना उमर फारूक आजम रजी अल्लाह तु मैं सईदना बकर सिद्दीक रजी अल्लाह तुस खलीफा एक जंग में एक बैटल में कई साहबा शहीद हुए और उन शहदा में बहुत से ऐसे सहाबा शहीद हुए जो हाफिज कुरान थे एंड देन सईदना उमर फारूक आजम रजी अल्लाह तु ही सेट टू सईद सिद्दीक रजी अल्लाह तु दट लुकिंग एट द नंबर ऑफ सहाबा हु सेक्रीफाइस मार्च वट आई फील वी नीड टू प्रिजर्व कुरान इन दम ऑफ बुक एंड दीज वे दीपल who have spent time with prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam you know what was the reply of sayyidina abu bakr siddiq sayyidina abu bakr siddiq radhiyallahu ta'ala no he said to sayyidina umar farooq azam that do you want me to do do something that wasn't done during the time of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam kya tum chahte ho ki main aisa kaam karu jo huzur ke zamane mein nahi hua tha and he said if you have told me to move mountain from one place to another place i would have done it but it's difficult for me to do something that wasn't done during the time of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam but sayyidina umar farooq azam radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu he kept on insisting he kept on insisting and then he said allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he opened the heart of sayyidina abu bakr siddiq radhiyallahu ta'ala anhu for this work and he appointed appointed few sahaba who got quran compiled and the first copy of quran was compiled in the time of sayyidina abu bakr siddiq رضی اللہ تعالی عنہ and it was given to was at hafsa for safety for safety so alhamdulillah this is the favor and this is the ihsan so coming back you know it has been from the day one until now until now that there are only two things that can attract people towards islam either it is going to be quran or either it is going to be akhlaq मुसलमानों का क्या हाल है हम खुद अपनी आंखों से जानते हैं अल्लाह रहम करे समटाइम्स व्हेन वी गेट इन टच विद पीपल हु आर नॉन मुस्लिम लुकिंग एट अवर हैबिट्स अवर कैरेक्टर मे बी रादर देन गेटिंग अट्रैक्टेड टुवर्ड्स इस्लाम दे माइट रन अवे फ्रॉम इस्लाम बट इवन टुडे व्हेन वी हियर पीपल एक्सेप्टिंग इस्लाम आज भी अगर हम सुनते हैं कि लोग इस्लाम कबूल कर रहे हैं there are many who are accepting because of reading quran because of reading quran and this is one of the reason world keeps on mentioning quran again and again again and again kahi kaha jata hai ki isme kuch ayate hain ki that because of those ayats we see people they take extremist ways path it invites to us terrorism they try to look for all those things but as it was mentioned you know it is not for you it is not for me allah subhanahu wa taala has taken responsibility of preserving for us so but whenever anything wrong is done against islam we can't stay quiet there is hadith of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in which prophet sallallahu taala alaihi wasallam he says if you see anything happening wrong you should try to stop that with your hand if you can't do that speak about it haath se roko haath se nahi rok sakte ho to usko bura kaho condemn it 
And if you can't do that, then feel bad about it in your heart. And then Prophet وسلم, he says, this is the weakest iman someone can have. Ye kamzor iman ka darja hai. Now I will leave it for you to decide what category you belong to. When it comes to things like this. When it comes to things like this. But around the Nabi are Muslim and believing in Quran and not only Quran, any books that were revealed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if we can't believe, we can't be complete in our iman. You know, among seven things what we need to believe in. One of the things is to believe in all those books that were sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or books which were revealed to prophets. Except for Quran. Dusri kitabe unme kuch na kuch amendments are gay. And again, our ulama they say that we can't completely reject those books. The reason being we don't know what has been added and what has been taken out from those kitabs. But we need to have belief that these are the books which were sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But Quran is there for our guidance. A Quran hi ko hamara guide, ek hamare liye isko guideline samaj ke hume isi ko follow karna. Ki agar dousri kitabe ho apni asal surat mein bhi aa jayen, still Quran is guide for us. You know there were two sahabi. <coughs> They were, I think before they were Jew and when they accepted Islam, what they decided was that in their previous religion, they were not allowed to eat camel meat. We are not going to eat the camel meat. It was then the ayah was revealed. Ya yuhal ladina amanu dhulu fi silmi kafa. That all who believe enter in Islam completely. <laughs> Once you believe in Allah and His Rasul sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, you have to forget everything about past and follow Allah Islam Allah completely. Allah 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 Allah. Islam ko pura pura, puri puri Islam me dafil ho, Islam ki har cheez ko. A Quran jo humko ye diya gaya hai, book what we have, alhamdulillah. This is the book which is being sent as a guidance. And there are certain hukuk, there are certain rights which are there for Quran. Jaisa ke hum sab jaantei ke abhi humara haal kya hai. Quran humare gharo mein humne itna upa rakh diya hai, ki ab haal bhi humara wani pochta. We either open it in Ramzan, or Alhamdulillah, you know, ye hamare buzurgu, hamare ulama, ko Allah ta'ala, unke darajat bulan kare, ke unho ne jo isare sawaab ka ek tariqa diya hai, kam se kam us bahane se, if any Sunni passes away, at least he gives chance for people to open Quran and read it. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. Lekin iske alawa, it's very rare. It's very rare to see people, you know, reading Quran or trying to understand Quran. Me kitab prarata usme badi pyari baat likhi thi. Usme kaha ke Quran ki tilawat, reading of Quran, isse aap ki ruh mazboot hoti hai. Ruh mazboot hoti hai. And this is again proven from the hadith of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You know, we have this physical self, but within this physical body, there is heart. And when Huzur sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentions about that heart, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says there is piece of flesh in your body. If that is okay, your whole body is going to be good. But if that gets corrupted, agar usme fasad a jaye, to pure jisme fasad a jaye. And then Huzur sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he mentioned that what is that piece of flesh? That is qalb, heart, which is there in your body. And in one hadith, Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he mentions that your heart gets rusted the way iron gets rusted. Ke dilo ko bhi zang lagta hai, jis tarha se lohe ko zang lagta hai. Ab dilo ko zang kaise lagta hai? Gunahu mein muqtala ho kar. You know, we don't realize. You commit sin with your eyes, your heart is impacted. 
You commit sin with your hands, your heart is impacted. You commit sin, sin with your tongue, your heart is impacted. And we don't realize it. Aakit, kya vaja hai ki aaj dini mehfilo mein baithne ke baad bhi, itni vazo nasiyah sunne ke baad bhi, hamara dil change nahi hota. We need to assess ourselves. There is something wrong within us. That Quran, if Kuffar, they heard it, their heart used to change and they accepted Islam. But when we go to Masajid, if Imam prolongs his tilawat, people they say, Aaj to tilawat bhot lambi ho gai. Huzur Gawse Azam ke hum gyaarmi shirif khate hai na? We do it every month. And we think this is the only reason Huzur Gawse Azam was sent to us. So that every month we remember and we eat gyaarmi shirif niyaz. یہی ایک مقصد رہ گیا لیکن وہی حضور غوث العظم if we read his life for 40 years حضور غوث العظم he prayed his fajr نماز with وضو what he did for تو کیا وضو کر کے بیٹھے رہتے تھے نہیں وضو کر کے پوری رات وہ عبادت میں گزارتے تھے اور عبادت میں کیوں گزارتے تھے کیونکہ اس میں لذت محسوس ہوتی تھے میں آپ کو چھوٹی سے مثال دوں جب یہ پروگرام ہمارا چل رہا ہے ختم ہوگا کبھی کبھی آپ مسجدوں میں ہوتا ہے کہ لوگ تراوی میں ہوتے ہیں تراوی کا اگزامپل اس لیے کہ اس میں قرآن سنایا جاتا ہے تھوڑا سا لمبا ہو جائے پیپل دے سے آج تھوڑی سی تراوی لمبی ہوگی لیکن وہیں مسجد سے باہر نکل کر they will stand with their friends and they will talk for one hour without realizing کہ ہم نے باہر کتنا وقت گزار دیا ہے why? because you are involved in it you are liking that conversation. So you don't feel that you've spent so much time. But because we don't have that likeness of Quran, even if it prolongs little bit, if it prolongs little But this shouldn't be the state. This shouldn't be the state. And this is all we need to work on. What is that thing that So one of them is, you know, staying away from disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Gunao se apne aap ko bachana. Kyunki dil mutasir ho ta'ala. Agar dil mutasir ho jaye, to achhi baat bhi ho, to wa andar nahi utar de. Aur gunao to aisi cheez hai, aisi cheez hai, ke ek hadith hai, ya kisi buzurg ka mene call padha, us mein farmaya gaya, gunao is something that can lead to kufr. You know, we live in society, we sometimes hear people who were born in Muslim family, but once they get fame, once they become famous, you see them saying they don't know what religion they belong to. Why? Because they have become slaves of their nafs. Then it is Allah ki gulami karega, ya to apne nafs ki gulami And if he becomes complete gulam and slave of his nafs, then it will be difficult for him to believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect all of us. In hadith, Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, he says that your heart, it gets rested the way iron gets rested. Sahaba ikram, they asked Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that how can we purify, how can we clean our heart? Dil ganda hota hai, us pe zang lagta hai, is zang alu dil ko kis tarah se saaf kiya jai? Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, he mentioned about two things. Do cheeze huzoor ne farmai. One thing that was mentioned by Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam was tilawat of Qur'an. To tilawat aap jitni karenge, more you read Qur'an, more you read Qur'an, even without realizing, you will see that your heart will be purified. You will get connected to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hum ishqe rasool ka dawa kerte hai na. Qazi Ayaz alayhi rahma. Who is the musannif of Shifa Sharif. He mentions one of the alamat. One of the alamat or one of the signs. From the signs of loving Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Agar koi dawa kerta hai na. Ke mein huzur-e-akram sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam se mohabbat kerta hoon. 
تو فرمایا محبت رسول کی نشانیوں میں سے ایک نشانی یہ ہے کہ محبت رسول رکھنے والا وہ قرآن سے بھی محبت کرتا ہے جو ابھی ہمارے وہاں سچویشن بنی ہوئی ہے نا یو نو دس از وی آر ویری ویری سیٹ اسٹیٹ کہ ہمارے ایک ساتھی تھے وہ نعتے بہت سنتے تھے تو میں نے نعت سننا اچھی چیز ہے ہمارے بزرگوں نے اس حوالے سے بھی کہا حضور سعودی اعلیٰ حضرت نے فرمایا کہ کسی اچھے نعت پڑھنے والے سے نعت سننے سے آپ کے دل میں اس کے رسول بڑھتا ہے لائک وائز سم اسکالرس دے ہیو مینشن دیٹ اف یو ریڈ دی سیرا آف پروفیس صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم دس ول انکریز دی لو آف پروفیس صلی اللہ تعالیٰ علیہ وسلم تو بہت وہ نعتے پڑھتے تھے میں نے کہا کبھی کبھی آپ قرآن بھی پڑھا کریں تو انہوں نے اب یہ کچھ اشعار ہوتے ہیں تو انہوں نے کہہ دیا کہ ہم نعت کی صورت میں قرآن سناتے ہیں میں نے کہا بی سو گڈ اف یو کین ڈو سم ٹائم ادر وے راؤنڈ کہ کبھی قرآن کی صورت میں بھی آپ نعت سنائیں سو وی لک فار ایزی ویز کہ آسان راستہ کون سا ہے لیکن جنت آسانی سے نہیں مشقتوں سے چل کے حاصل ہوتی ہے کلوزنیس آف اللہ سبحان ہوا تعالی یو نیڈ ٹو گو تھرو ہارڈ شپ You need to take some pain. What is the reason, you know, these awliya, they used to do so many mujahadat. Why? Because they wanted the closeness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They wanted it. Two things are happening. One is the shukr and one is the sabr. Some days ago, we were in the midst of the midst of the Lord of the Islam, Hazrat Allah Azmi Sahib in Manchester. And Hazrat was talking about shukr and sabr. Hazrat said, these are the two things. And there are many, you know, hadiths they mention about these two qualities of Mu'min. There's a hadith that is where Hazrat Isa alayhi salam ne apne maanne walo se kaha ki mere baad ek ummat aayi ki unka haal bhi bada ajeeb hai. Their state is going to be very ajeeb. In whatever state they're going to be, they're going to be rewarded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They'll be in win-win situation. If Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives them ni'mat, And if they do shukr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will increase that ni'mat. Nain shakartum, nazidannakum. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will increase that ni'mat. But then he says, if they are tested by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if they have any taklif in their life, agar unki azmaish hoti or wo hogi, it is not that if we say that we are Muslim, our life is going to be in comfort. یہ بھی ایک مغالتا ہے جو ہم کو اپنے ذہنوں سے نکالنا چاہیے امام حسین ہی از فرام دی لیڈرز آف یوتھ ان جنا ہی از دی گرینڈ سن آف پروفیس اللہ تعالیٰ وسلم ہی از دی سن آف حضرت علی ہی از دی سن آف حضرت فاطم الزہرا رضی اللہ تعالیٰ بٹ اسٹل ہی ہیو ٹو گو تھرو دس پین تھرو دس ٹیسٹ وچ واز فرام اللہ سبحان ہو تعالیٰ اللہ سبحان تعالیٰ سیز یو نو یو ول بی ٹیسٹڈ بائی اللہ سبحان تعالیٰ You will be tested by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So as a mu'min, we should always be prepared for these tests. And when you have a test, the Quran says, And the Quran says, And the Quran says, Glad tiding, good news is for those who are sabir. It's for those who are patient. So the Quran says, If someone is thankful, what happens? Allah gives the blessings. But if someone is thankful, what happens to them? حضرت نے فرمایا ان اللہ معصابرین کہ صبر کی جزا یہ ہے کہ اس کو اللہ کا قرب مل جاتا تو دو چیز فرمائی گی کہ جس سے دل کا زنگ دور ہوتا ہے ون از تلاوت آف قرآن اینڈ سیکنڈ از ریمبرنس آف ڈیتھ موت کو یاد کرنا موت کو یاد رکھنا If you do that, inshallah, Razin. You know, if there is some person, if you tell him that he's going to pass away in a few days, you know, his, his focus will completely change. Sif akhirat na khayal hoga. Dunia ki padhi nahi hogi. Aaj toh hum dunia mein aise reh rahe hain, aisa lagta hai ki hum ko mar nahi hai. And that is the reason in one hadith, Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, he says, best nasiha, best advice, what someone can be given is death. And remember it more and more. 
more you remind yourself that you're going to die, you'll be more obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Aadmi utna farma bardaar hooga, utna zada wo deen ke taraf uski rafat hooga. اب قرآن کے کچھ حقوق ہیں there are certain rights of قرآن I will just briefly mention it one of the rights of قرآن is to believe in it and to respect it قرآن پر ایمان لانا اور قرآن کی تعظیم کرنا تعظیم کرنا اور قرآن کی تعظیم ایک تو اس طرح سے کہ مصحف کی بھی تعظیم کرنا قرآن which is in the form of book to respect that and respect everything that is there in Quran. Mahmood Ghaznavi ke hawale se ek waqia padha mein ke unka intakal hua kisi ne unko khwab mein dekha aur Allah ki rehmaton mein the bhoat khush nazar a rahe the to unse kisi ne poochha you know you are in such comfort after passing away from this dunya what is the reason? He said, I was invited once at somebody's house. The room which was given to me for resting, then I went in. And when I was about to sleep, what I found was the direction in which my feet was going to be, there was Quran kept there. So that I can sleep the way I want. Then he said, it came to my mind, who am I to change the place of Quran? I am trying to change the place of Quran, but the Quran is Allah's book. And he said, it was whole night I was sat there with the respect of Quran and I didn't sleep. And he said, because of this respect of Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he did my maghfirat and I'm in the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Subhanallah, subhanallah. Now, one thing is the Quran and our life. I'll tell you a little bit about you. First, you know, when we say we are Muslim, once we have, you know, accepted Islam, one of the main responsibility is to pray namaz on time. Our responsibilities سے فارغ ہو کے ہم نماز نہیں پڑھیں بلکہ نماز کے ارد گرد ہماری رسپانسیبیلیٹیز ہونی چاہیے you know when you plan to go out you know we are approaching holidays now school holidays will start in Bolton we are starting next week most likely I think same with other places as well you will be planning holidays with your children when you are traveling plan yourself جب یہ سفر کر رہے ہیں اگر نماز کا وقت آیا how are we going to offer you a salah it doesn't mean that if you're shopping somewhere, namaz is maaf. No. There's no excuse now. Wherever you go, prayer rooms are available. And even prayer rooms are not available. When it's time for namaz, you should pray wherever you are. Wherever you are. It's one of the things you'll be asked after you pass away from this dunya. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala won't look at your other deeds until you know you are full or you've completed, you fulfill your obligation of namaz. Dusri cheez jo hai ki apne aap ko jhoot se bachana. Aaj kahi na kahi la shauri tor par person he gets involved in lying a lot. Quran says, Ya yuhal ladheena amal taqubha kulu qawlan sallita. And our ulama, they say when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions Kulu Kaulan Sadida, Kaulan Sadida means you need to be honest in your conversation. Ke jab bhi baat kare, to sachi baat kare. Or agar koi jhoot bolta hai, then Quran says, Lanatullahi al Kadibi, the curse of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is on the liar, the person who lies. Ab humare wa kis tarah se jhoot hota hai? اور کبھی کبھی لا جوری طور پر ہم اپنے بچوں کو بھی جھوٹ کے لئے ٹرین کرتے ہیں ٹرین کرتے ہیں میں چھوٹی سی مثال بکوز آر ٹیچ ان مدرسہ اگر ایک سمان کو اس مست مست مدرسہ نیکس دے اگر سٹوڈنٹ کمس تو دے کلاس لائک می ایمین ادھر ٹیچرز دے آس سٹوڈنٹ ویری ایسٹر دے اگر وہ اپنے والدین کے ساتھ کہیں باہر کھانے کے لئے گئے ہوں دعوت پہ گئے ہوں تو کبھی کبھی پیرنس ہی کہتے ہیں کہ اس تاد ہی آسک ویرے یو 
yesterday, why didn't you come to Madrasa? Just say that you were not feeling well. <laughs> Without even realizing, you have trained him for lying. Today is lying to start. In coming days, he will lie to you as well. Today, we will talk about the Uzzur Ghosul Azam. Allah has so much of Allah. Until Imam Mahdi comes, Uzzur Ghosul Azam is the leader of Awliya. Until he doesn't attest or recognizes, no one can get reliant. But Uzzur Ghosul Azam, radiallahu ta'ala, who at his very young age, when he's traveling, and robbers they attacked, he was wali of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he knew he was wali of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he didn't use any karamat. He used the sunnah of Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam of speaking truth. And when he did that, alhamdulillah, there were many who accepted Islam. Apne aapko jhoot se bachana. Jhoot se bachana. Aur ye iman ki sifat mein se. You know when we call ourselves that we are believer, we are mu'min, this is the part of our of, of being mu'min believer. Huzur Akram sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam was asked, can a believer be a stingy? Kya ek mu'min kanjus ho sakta hai? Huzur nikah ho sakta hai. Ka can believer be a coward? Kya ek mu'min buzdil ho sakta hai? Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, yes, mu'min can be buzdil. Then Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was asked, can mu'min be a liar? Kya mu'min jhuta ho sakta hai? Huzur nikah ki nahi, mu'min jhuta nahi ho sakta. If someone claims himself that he's a believer, he's a mu'min, then he's not going to be. So, the first thing is that the Quran is the Tazim or the Takrim. And the second thing is that the Quran is the Tazim or the Takrim. And the second thing is that the Quran is the If you don't know how to pray Quran properly, then try to learn to pray Quran properly. اسی کے ساتھ ساتھ فرمایا کہ قرآن کو پڑھ کر سمجھنا اس کو نے کہا نا کہ قرآن کی تلاوت سے روح یہ سکون پاتی ہے اور قرآن کے معنی اور مطلب کو سمجھنے سے فرمایا قلب و ازہان روشن ہوتا ہے قلب و ازہان your heart, your thinking gets enlightened if you understand قرآن if you understand قرآن اور اسی کے ساتھ ساتھ اس پر عمل کرنے کی بھی کوشش کریں اللہ اپنے حبیب صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم کے صدق و تفیل میں ہم سب کو عمل کی توفیق عطا فرمائے ہیں قرآن کے ساتھ ہمارا تعلق مضبوط سے مضبوط اللہ رب العزت رکھنے کی توفیق عطا فرمائے ہیں السلام علیکم ورحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ